initiates, you can go ahead and have your neck beads put on now. Welcome everyone to ISKCON of Silicon Valley for our Sunday program today. It is a it's an initiation ceremony. There are practitioners of bhakti yoga, devotional service, who tonight are entering into a very important stage of their practice of devotional service called Bhajana Kriya. Uh, through which they're making vows that, would, that would, they will adhere to throughout their lives that regulate the, the way they live to have clean life, at least one inch above the water, no drowning, and also keeping um, a minimum number of... Uh, chanting of rounds, which means the chanting of the holy names of Krishna. So we have our head priest and his assistant here tonight who are going to be performing the ceremony. And we'll be having some, we will be chanting some verses together in just a moment to consecrate the event. And then we'll talk a little bit about, at least I will, the significance of initiation, what it means. And there are two groups of initiates tonight. Some, of, some are taking their first vows. We call it here Hari Nam initiation. Hari means Krishna and Nama means name. So they're vowing to chant the names of Krishna a minimum number of times. And there are some second initiates here tonight who have already been chanting 
Krishna's names in a regulated way, had taken vows a year or more ago and are now taking a second set of mantras to add into their practice, which are very special mantras that are passed down through from one teacher to disciple over many, many generations and which help one to become meditative on the form of Krishna and to remind one uh, about one's purpose of life, which is to be a servant of Krishna. And so you'll notice that there are two sets of initiates tonight, or maybe you won't. It'll all, maybe it'll all look the same. So we're going to do some purification rites headed by Srivas Pandit Prabhu, our lead priest tonight. And then we'll all chant the Brahma Samhita together and we'll commence with some speaking. That uh, also, it may not work all the way down there. It has to be kind of in front of your mouth. It's a special kind of mic. It has to go in your head, but. <laughs> Any, it's, okay, it's on. <laughs> Anyways, is the mantra to get it started. <laughs> so the first um, thing is that we do sankalpa, which is um, the affirmation of what we are doing today. So um, we take just a small sip of water in your hand, and I'll just say the mantra, and then you will leave the hand. You will leave the water on the ground. Om Tat Sat Sri Govinda Govinda Asyayam Shubhatito. Achuta Gotra, Vaishe Shikadasa Adikari Ajamana, Srivasa Pandita Dasa Hotra Nama, Diksha Yagna, Karmaham Karishami. Just leave the word from the ground. Good. The next thing is called the Achamana, where we purify. So we repeat the mantra and then uh, we sip the water three times. Om. Oh, Apavitra, Apavitra, Pavitrova, Pavitrova, Sarva Vastan, Sarva Vastan, Gato Piva, Piva, Yasmare, Yasmare, Pundari Kaksham, Pundari Kaksham, Sabahya, Sabahya, Abhyantara, Abhyantara, Suchihi, Sri Vishnu, Sri Vishnu. Shri Vishnu. Shri Vishnu. The first sip you take is Om Keshavaya Namaha. Om Keshavaya Namaha. Om Narayanaya Namaha. Om Govindaya Namaha. Okay, once more. Om Apavitra. Pavitrova Sarva Vasthan Gato Piva Yahasmare Pundari Kaksham Sabahya Abhyantara Suchihi Shri Vishnu Shri Vishnu Shri Vishnu Om Keshavayan Maha Om Narayanaya Namaha Om Madhavaya Namaha Once more Om Apavitra Pavitrova Sarva Vasthan Gato Piva Yasmare Pundari Kaksham Sabahya Abhyantara, Abhyantara Shuchihi, Shri Vishnu, Shri Vishnu, Shri Vishnu, Om Kishvaya Maha, Om Narayanaya Maha, 
ಓಧವಾಯ ನಮಃ We also want to welcome the devotees Vladislava Bhaktin Lavis Vladislava and also Bhakt Bhakti Rohit who have joined us online today Hare Krishna welcome <laughs> And now we'll chant the Sri Brahma Sanghita together We'll do Ishvara Paramakrishna then Chintamani Prakara Sadma Sutta to the end. Ishvara Paramakrishna Sakchirananda Vigraha Anadiradir Govinda Sarvakarana Karanam Chintamani Prakara Sadma Sutta Vriksha Laksha Vrite Shusuga Bira Bipala Yantam Lakshmi Sahasra Shatta Sambra Masavya Manam Govinda Mari Purusham Tamaham Bajami Venum Kwanantam Maravindam Dalaya Taksham Barhavatam Samasitam Buddha Sundarangam Kandarpa Koti Kamaniya Vishesha Shobham Govinda Mari Purusham Tamaham Bajami Alola Chandra Kalasad Vanamalya Vamshi Ratnanga Dhamrana Yakeli Kamavi Lasam Shamam Tribanga Lalatam Yata Prakasham Govinda Mari Purusham Tamaham Bajami Angani Yasa Sakalendri Avriti Manti Pashanti Panti Kalayanti Chiram Jaganti Ananda Chinmaya Sadujvala Vigrahasya Govinda Mari Purusham Tamaham Bajami Atveta Machutam Manadim Ananta Rupam Adhyam Purana Purusham Navayavanamcha Vede Shudula Mamadula Mamadma Pakdao Govinda Mari Purusham Maham Bajani Pantas to Koti Shatabat Sara Sambrakam Yo Bayor at Happy Manaso Muni Pungavanam Sopyastia Prapada Sindhya Vichinja Tajde Govinda Mari Purusham Maham Bajani Ekopya Saura Chaditum Jagadanda Kotim Yat Shakti Rasti Jagadanda Chayaya Danta Andanta Rasta Panamanu Chayanta Rastam Govinda Mari Purusham Tamaham Bajani Yat Pava Pavita Dio Manu Chasta Taiva Samprapya Rupa Mahima Shayanana Bhusha Suktarya Neva Nigama Pratitai Stuvanti Govinda Mari Purusham Tamaham Bajami Ananda Jinmaya Rasa Pratipavitavis Tabirya Eva Nijarupa Tayakalabhi Goloka Eva Nipa Satya Kilatma Puto Govinda Mari Purusham Tamaham Bajami Premanjana Chudita Pakti Vilochanena Santaksa Daiva Hudegeshu Viloka Yanti Yamshama Sundana Machintya Kunasarupam 
गोविंदमादिपुरशाधम भजा रामादिमूतिष्कलामेनतिष्ठानवतारमको भुवनेशु किंतु कृष्ण स्वयं समबत्परमापुम गोविंदमापुरशाधमी यभाप्रभपत जगदंदकोति कोतिशुशेषवसुदारीबुद्धिभिन्न तत्ब्रह्म निष्कमशेषूत गोविंदमापुरशाधम भजा माया हि यदंदी सूते त्रैगुण्यता सवलबी पर विशुद्ध सत्व गोविंदमापुरशाध भजा आनंदचिन्मसमतयामनासु यीना प्रतिपल स्मरता मुफेत लीलायुथेन भुवना जयत्यजस्त्र गोविंदमापुरशाधम भजा त्रिलोकनाजले ती महेश हरिदाम सुथे शुथेशु थे थे प्रभाव निचया विहित गोविंदमापुरशाधम भजा सृष्टिस्थिति प्रलय सारन शक्तिखा चुवना विभरती दुर्गा इच्छापी अश्चेस्थते स गोविंदमापुरशाधम भजा क्षीरम यताशेष योगा संजाते नितथ प्रतगस्ते हेतो यशंबूता तत्तासमुपैति कार्याद गोविंदमापुरशाधम भजा दीपाश एव हिदसंतनुमाभ्युत दीपाते वृवृतहेतु सर्म यस्ताद्रगे च विष्णु छया विभाति गोविंदमापुरशाधम भजा या कारणाजले भजती स्म योग निद्रमंदकंद सरोम कूप आधार शक्ति अवलंब्य परम स्वूर्ति गोविंदमापुरशाधम भजा यशकनिष्फुसित कालमतावलंब्य जीवांति लोम बिलजा जगदंदनाथ विष्णुर्महांस इह गोविंदमापुरशाधम भजा बास्वान्यता शकलेशु निजेशु तेज स्वीय किय्रकथयत्त्र ब्रह्मा ये जगदंड विधानकर्त गोविंदमापुरशाधम भजा यत्पारपल्लवयुग विनिदाय कुंभ द्वंदे प्रणाम सामे सकनाज विघ्नाहलम से जगत्र गोविंदमापुरशाधम भजा अग्निर्मी गंगमुनमुरुदश कालास्तमसी जगत्री 
yasmad bhavanti vivavanti vishanti yamcha govinda mari purusham dhamaham bhachami yat shakshure sa sapita sakala grahanam raja samasta suramurti rashesha tejaha yasya gnaya pramati samrata kala chakro Govinda Mari Purusham Tamaham Bajami Dharmota Papa Nichaya Shutayasta Pamsi Pramadi Kita Patagabata Yashta Jiva Yadata Matra Vibaba Prakata Prabhava Govinda Mari Purusham Tamaham Bajami Yaswindra Pamata Vendra Mahosa Karmaha Bhandana Rupa Palapajana Matanoti Karmani Nirdahati Kinti Chapakti Bajam Govinda Mari Purusham Tamaham Bajami Yam Krodha Kama Sahaja Pranayari Piti Patsalya moha guru gaurava sevya pavai Santintya tasya satrishin tanama purete Govind purusham tamaham bhajami Govind amari purusham tamaham bhajami Sri Akanta Kanta Parama Purusha Kalpa Tarabo Dhruma Bhumishchin Thamani Ganamai Toyam Amritam Kataganam Natyam Gamanam Apivam Shri Priyasaki Chidanandam Jyoti Parama Pitharaswadyam Apicha Sayatra Shiradhi Sravati Surabhi Vyasya Sumahan Neme Shardhya Kyova Vratati Nahi Atrapi Samayaha Bhaje Shvita Dvipam Tamaham Iha Golokamitiyam Virantas De Shantakshiti Viralachara Katipaye Atovacha Mahavishnur Bhagavantam Prachapatim Raman Mahatva Vignane Prajasarge Chachinmati Pancha Shlokim Imam Vidyam Vatsatatvam Nibodame Prabhude Jnana Bhakti Vyam Atmaya Nanda Chinmahi Ude Dhyunatama Bhaktir Bhagava Prima Lakshana Ramana Istat Sarachara Istat Abhyasir Nirantaram Bodhayan Atman Atmanam Bhaktim Aputamam Labe Yasya Shreyas Kanam Nasti Yaya Nibritum Apnuyar Yasarayatima meva bhaktim ta meva saraye Dharma manyan paritya jama mekam bhaja vishwasan Yadrishi yadrishi sadha sadhir bhavati tadrishi Kurvan nirantaram karma loko yam manavartate Tenaiva karmana tyayam Maam Param Bhakti Michiti Aham Hi Vishwasya Chara Charasya Vijam Pradhanam Prakriti Pumamsha Maya Hitam Teja Idam Viparshi Vide Vide Hi Tumato Jaganti Ishvara Parama Krishna Sakshir Ananda Vigraha Anadiradir Govinda Sarva Karana Kadanam Iti Sri Brahma Sanghita Sampurnam Hari Om Hire from my respectful obeisances to my spiritual master is Divine Grace Hesi Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada To all the previous Acharyas to Shishi Panchatattva, Sriman Mahaprabhu, Shishi Radha Madan Mohan, 
and Shri Shri Lakshmi Nishringadev, and to all the devotees who are gathered here today, especially my dear uh, God brothers and sisters who have joined. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much for being here to witness the initiation. Initiation means the beginning of something, and there are many duties to do in this world, unlimited in fact. And Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Yavanarta Udapane, that if you in the village find many different wells for various purposes. In villages, they have a purpose for each well. They can be replaced with a river because you can do everything there that you could have done in the wells and it never becomes contaminated. And Krishna recommends that Arjuna know the purpose behind all the Vedas so that he doesn't have to do so many duties. Ultimately, there's only one duty to do that makes it simpler in life. Otherwise, it seems like there are a lot of choices to make all the time. In fact, Krishna says, unless somebody has this sense of purpose, then vyavasyatmika buddhir ekeha burnandana bahu shakha burayo vyavasayinam A person who's plagued with too many choices by not knowing the ultimate purpose of life, the ultimate reason that the Vedas exist to guide us and the goal that they guide us to, they become confused. And Krishna in the Bhagavad Gita gives us very simple instructions that solve all our problems. And the first one is that we're not our bodies. That's the biggest problem, is thinking that I'm a material body. It causes unlimited anxiety and problems, and there's no end to the miseries that come from living in a material body and identifying with it. So Krishna, at the very beginning, tells Arjuna that you're not actually your body, but you're a spiritual being that's temporarily inhabiting the body. And you're just passing through. Dehino sminyata dehe komaran yavaram jara. Do any of these sound familiar? Like you start as a baby and then you, a youth, and then you go into middle age, old age. Even if you're a young person, it may sound familiar because you've done it before in previous lives. And then we go to the next life. So Krishna says, this is the, f the big mistake that we make, identifying with the material body. And he describes to Arjuna many different ways in which we can understand that there's a higher purpose to life and how we can actually see how we're being manipulated by the modes of material nature in various ways. And in the end of the Bhagavad Gita, he says, Sarva dharaman parityaja mame kam sharanam braja aham tvang sarva papi byo moksha yishami masujaha. That you should concentrate on one thing, and that is surrender to me, and don't worry. Because uh, Krishna is all powerful, and he's all merciful. And if we surrender to Krishna, then we'll be saved from so much misery. And we'll also be happy, right? And therefore, he says, don't worry and don't hesitate. As soon as possible, surrender to me. And someone might say, uh, how do I surrender? Well, there's a, a process. There's a process through which we can surrender to Krishna. It begins with accepting things that are favorable and rejecting things that are unfavorable. And we can feel these when we give up things that are unfavorable for a devotional service. It may seem difficult at first, but then we're replaced with, 
it's replaced is our distraction with material energy with a kind of inner happiness and an empowerment that we get from leaving behind, for instance, the, the sinful activities of the material world. Those drain our energy and mostly they're like little bird. I have birds in my yard who enjoy taking a schnan in a, in a little fountain I have outside my window. And I can, I can tell what they're doing out there. They take a bath and then they see the reflection in the mirror of, of a bird and they think it's either you know, someone they want to talk to or maybe someone they want to fight with and they bang their little bird head into the window. <laughs> and I can hear them clink, boom, clink. And this is the way in which I become enamored of the material energy and I think I'm going to get something out of it. But it's banging my head against a reflection. There's nothing there. The great sages are, have already sorted this out for us and given us directions like nasato vidite bhavo na bhavo vidite sata ubayora pidushnon tas twaneyos tatvadarshibi there's what's real and there's what's reflected and you should know the difference between the two and if if you go for reality which is beautiful it's krishna and you put your energy into pursuing krishna trying to serve him then even a little bit of effort makes you happy krishna says that in the beginning of the or near the beginning of the bhagavad gita neha bikramanashosti pratyavayo navidyate swalpam apya siddharmasya trayate mahato bhayad that if you just give a su alpam a tiny little bit of endeavor towards serving me, you'll feel it for yourself, that you naturally feel sa satisfied and happy. But no, no matter how much work I put into the material world, even if I become so-called successful, whatever that means, then I'll still be in anxiety and unhappy. And I'll have to repeat the same process again. I leave this body and I have to take birth again into another material womb to carry on with my work because Krishna is very kind and he set up the whole world in such a way as to accommodate us perfectly. That's scary for those who have lost their way and have no idea how to work in this vast universe of karma. But it's heartening to all of us because we know that if we just take shelter of Krishna and we try to follow his directions, as he says in the third chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, Ye me matam idam nityam anutishtanti madhava. Don't envy this principle that there's something to follow. Some people get upset if you have to wear a safety belt. There was a big uprising. Why do we have to wear safety belts? Uh, of course, maybe there's a case to be made. Uh, but there's laws like drive on the right side of the road that makes a lot of sense if that's the law of the land right if it's like no i'm driving on the left and then if there's a bloody accident who can you blame if you bite your own tongue who can you blame oh yeah yeah go ahead <laughs> who are you going to talk to now krishna says this in the 11th canto of the bhagavatam through the mouth of the Avanti Brahman. This is our plight here in the material world. So initiation means that we've made a distinction, a clear distinction between reality and illusion. And of course, that's the purpose of the Srimad Bhagavatam, to distinguish between reality and illusion for the welfare of all. And when we're in the reality, then and we're working to please Krishna, then we feel satisfied. And this initiation is one of the processes, accepting something that's very favorable. It's a kind of surrender to Krishna through his process. His process is that he markets his products through dis distribution points and distributors. There's some products you can't buy directly. 
Have you ever had that? You call up and they say, sorry, we sell through only through our distributors. Same with the... I, anyway, there, there are many, many products like that. And this is one of them. So Krishna Krishna says, we have distributors. You can call one of them and see if you get the product. And so the, the process of parampara, accepting the, the holy name and the Gayatri mantras through the parampara that's been passed down from one spiritual master to disciple over many generations is an act of surrender to Krishna. So the holy name doesn't require initiation. However, those who take the holy name from a bona fide spiritual master in disciplic succession get the great benefit of following Krishna's system and taking shelter of him through a representative. And by chanting in that way, one makes rapid progress and come, can come to the ultimate goal of Krishna consciousness, especially, and this is extremely important as one continues to hear, sambandha jnan, knowledge of one's relationship with Krishna as one's chanting. That's why it's necessary to hear and chant, to hear from Srila Prabhupada's books, and to, to attend classes, to listen carefully, and chant at the same time. And by chanting Krishna's names, Every day, the minimum number of rounds, at least, without fail, then it's guaranteed that the person will become purified because the holy name is so powerful that karma will be a broken. Yastvindra Gopa Matavendra Mahosa Karma Bandhan Rupa Palabhajana Matanoti Karmani Nirdahati Kintucha Bhakti Bhajam Govinda Madi Purusham Tamahamajami. When you serve Krishna, then the karma is destroyed. But everyone's entangled from Indra down to the small germ, the Indra Gopa germ. So it's important to chant Hare Krishna, and it's also important to be careful in one's attitude in life. So one of the attitudes that's really important is to be non offensive. Don't uh, speak ill of devotees. It's an art to avoid this. And it's, it's the way of advanced devotees to be very careful in how uh, they speak about Vaishnavas or how they interact with them. It's not worth it to commit an offense just because we disagree or we feel angry with somebody. So that's one of the a point that's very important in practicing the chanting is to avoid offending devotees. And the next that's very important is to be careful to not take the holy name for granted and just think it's an ordinary sound vibration. It's helpful to hear again and again the science of sound vibration and how Sound vibration makes this world, and, in, and how we can become uncovered by a transcendental sound, Anavriti Shabdat. Is everyone okay? Yes. Yes. All right. It's a long time to sit there. We'll take a break in a, in a minute so you can all stand up because I don't want you to suffer. <laughs> so, in taking these vows to chant the holy names, Remember that Krishna is personally present when you chant the holy name. And also remember that there are ten offenses to avoid. And if you remember what they are, and you deliberately avoid committing those offenses, then Krishna will become very satisfied and help you to advance in devotional service very quickly. Some of you today are also taking second initiation. And this is mentioned in the Shastra about how it's an alchemical process, practically. Yata 
kanchanatam yati kamsam rasam vijanataha tatadiksha vidanena dvichatam jayate indrinam. So in the Hari Bhakti Vilas, uh, just as you can convert, and if any of you can discover how to do this, please let us know. The, bell, the base metal into gold. There's some process that was known in past centuries. Uh, vidanena means by following the process, as mentioned in the Shastra, then you can become transformed into one who is above the three modes of material nature. You can become a brahmana by that process. And so the Diksha mantras that you've all received today, the devotees who are taking second initiation earlier, uh, receive their mantras, or I'll say, I gave them the, the mantras just as Prabhupada gave them to me in the same manner as spoke them into their right ears. They listen to the mantra and then they have a, a sheet of mantras, seven in all, that they will be chanting along with their japa of the Hare Krishna mantra, Maha Mantra. They'll be stopping three times a day at, at the sandhyas in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening to say these mantras. Each one of them they say ten times. And oftentimes as we're moving about the world, we forget who we are. These mantras will help to remind you that you're eternal servants of Krishna. And they directly connect you to the spiritual world by hearing them. And they also enliven the heart, remembering how sweet Krishna is and that he's a person. And it helps us to chant the, the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra even more enthusiastically. And so several devotees today will be, um, we will be giving certificates for them for having received their Diksha mantras. And these are transformative and the process is transformative to accept the second initiation or the mantra Diksha. So, I have a few more comments, but I would like you all to stand up for a minute and just um, raise your hands in the air and say, Go Ranga. Did that help? Okay, good. We'll do it again if you need it. So Srila Prabhupada is, is the most merciful Vaishnav. He single-handedly came to the West to give just not only the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, but also he wanted to create Brahmanas. And that's not easy. Uh, people have their own ideas, especially here in the West. Well, in the East too, everywhere. Every living entity thinks I'm self-contained, I'm fine, I don't need anything. Please keep to yourself, mostly. There's a lot of sincere people also, but imagine how Prabhupada came by himself. And his intention was to give everyone the opportunity to become purified by the process of chanting Hare Krishna. And he had the vision that such uh, people, even the most confused and downtrodden people could come to the highest level. And this is not something that everyone in India agreed with. People often think that, no, no, you have to take birth in a Brahmin family before you can actually practice devotional service. But the Bhagavatam says that from, from whatever situation you're in now, by the power of devotional service, you can raise, uh, rise to the highest position. Kirata hunandra pulinda pulkasha abhira shumba yavana kasadaya. 
Yene cha papa yada pasha yasha yashu janti tasmai pravavishnave nama. Shukadev Goswami says this that it doesn't matter where you're from or what outcast group you're with. If you come in contact with the Vaishnavas and you hear the vibration of the holy name, you'll become improved. And all of you, somehow or other, you've come in contact with that vibration. And you felt enlivened. Otherwise, you wouldn't be sitting here. You were lifted up and you thought, yes, I can do this. And that I'm getting improved because I'm hearing in the association of devotees and living a pure life. That's nectar. To know that one's making advancement and actually can stand firm, come to the point of nishta, that I, f I actually feel like I have spiritual strength. That's powerful. Because most people are controlled by the senses. And they, they don't like it. They pretend like they're not. And they think if I get enough money or uh, if I'm famous enough, then I will, uh, everything will be okay. But it's not. People are miserable. The only thing that makes us happy is having this inner fortitude through the power of devotional service and to feel the exhilaration of making spiritual advancement. And the way to make spiritual advancement is to follow the acharyas. And Srila Prabhupada is the best of all acharyas because he's a pure devotee who, against all odds, brought the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra to the West and personally induced the people to chant Hare Krishna and then personally trained them how to do it. It's painstaking work for a pure devotee, what to speak, an elderly pure devotee, to come to the level of those who have no idea what devotional service is because in old age, and when one has a pure heart, the only real natural inclination is to sit down with advanced devotees and hear and chant. But Prabhupada did the opposite. He went and sat with people who had no idea what it was up on Hippie Hill, not too far from here. <laughs> and on Hippie Hill, people had all their own ideas, but just by hearing the vibration that Prabhupada made, Hare Krishna, and it wasn't even any fancy tunes. He made up his own tunes, basically. And he sang them, and people were banging on whatever they could get a hold of. Prabhupada had a bongo drum. <laughs> and there were people with cymbals and whatever they'd pull out of their garage. And people would start dancing. The Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is really powerful. The first time I heard it, I thought, what is that? It's really interesting. It's hypnotic. And it's Krishna. And so those who are really intelligent decide that I'm going to follow Prabhupada's footsteps. What he brought as a gift, I'm going to take that as fully as I can, as soon as I can, because there's not much time. And it's really important. And when you do that in this line of devotional service, you get the mercy of all the acharyas. And you'll feel it. I mean, somebody might look from the outside and say, well, there's two wires there. There's two copper wires side by side. Now, we know one of them's electrified. Is that the right terminology? Electrical engineers? <laughs> one of them's hot. And the other one, one's live and the other one's not. From the outside, it looks like the same thing. But if you want to know the difference, you have to touch it. <laughs> so we want to touch it. Well, we want to touch that wire that's coming from the spiritual world, the, where the current's coming from the spiritual world. And this is the teaching of the great acharyas and of the Shastra itself, that by taking its initiation and the vows, then you come in contact with the wire. First you surrender, then the, you'll start to feel the juice come through. And why not? Because, you know, it's a boring life, really. Just fending off misery all the time. I just try to make up a, a wall as much as possible so that uh, I won't get attacked by 
the material energy. The basic wall, try to get money. Because I think psychologically, if I have enough money, then I'll, I'll be able to stop anything that happens or I'll, you know, I'll be taking, I'll become, nobody wants to be inconvenienced in this world. But Narada Muni says, don't worry about it. You're going to be inconvenienced no matter how hard you try. So you might as well be inconvenienced for Krishna. And that's uh, preemptive inconvenience. You take an, in, and that's called tapasya. If you take tapasya on yourself for the sake of Krishna, then you start to enjoy it. It's like, yeah, I, everyone gets inconvenience thrust upon them, but I'm going to choose my own. I feel in, some inconvenience in my life for my senses will feel inconven, inconvenienced by taking up the process of Krishna consciousness. So we, we are sheltered at the lotus feet of Srila Prabhupada and all the previous acharyas, the powerful energy from the spiritual world is coming down through them. And I am a poster child of one who got electrocuted or electrified <laughs> by touching the wire. <laughs> uh, and proof that from any class, even the lowest, can come in contact with this process of Krishna consciousness and then become a servant to, to help pass it on to other people. We have a really uh, nice situation here if you look around. The place is beautiful and clean. There's nice air coming through. And we're all sitting in good company. I mean, look at the company we have. Take a look around. I mean, everyone here, you'd want to live in their house with them and be friends with. You know, we're really lucky. And that's all coming from Srila Prabhupada. He, uh, and that's the, that's the life you get when you chant Hare Krishna. The more you chant Hare Krishna, the more you say your Gayatri mantras, the more you come into good fortune. And everything that's actually good and wholesome and that feels uh, satisfying to the heart. All right? So, chant without offense. Never offend devotees. Never put it in writing. Don't swear. I never thought I'd have to say that, but... <laughs> Actually, have your speech be in Satvagun. I just started noticing that sometimes, nowadays, it's become a fashion. Even on the internet, people use really heavy language. And uh, what we say makes a big difference. So, as initiate, set an example. Ask yourself, would your guru say that? Or would Prabhupada say it? Could you see Srila Bhakti Siddhanta talking like that? Be careful. Be purposeful. And uh, you'll go back home, back to Godhead, just by being good and cooperating and chanting Hare Krishna. All right? Yeah. Also, try to help others because when you reach out to other people, and give them Krishna consciousness, then you'll notice how valuable it is. Yesterday, right at the end of the day, we saw a gentleman walking down the sidewalk. Is he here? <laughs> he was on his way somewhere, but I noticed his eyes. He looked in there like, what in the heck is that? <laughs> and I've seen that look before. Like in Japan, people are, it's part of the culture not to look at people in the eyes. They don't stare. And... We do Hari Nam, and then we notice. If anybody looks, it means, yes, I'm open. You can come over and talk to me. Maybe I'll join. Uh, and I noticed this f fellow out there. He was looking in, and, and so I know that look. It's the look of the jiva, like, hey, what am I missing here? And generally, they're, lo they're like getting all... It's a whole rip-off going on out there, a whole rip-off thing. If you haven't noticed it, everyone's showing stuff. Here, why don't you buy this or that? And there's a big profit motive behind it. Everyone wants to extract something from another conditioned soul. 
so that they can live on a high hill and look down and say, ha, 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 I'm better than you are. But devotees aren't like that. We want to share it with everybody as much as possible through music and dance and literature and, and the best food in the world and giving prasadam to people. So he looked in and that was a big mistake because <laughs> <laughs> he ended up with a big stack of books, a plate of prasadam, a garland. We gave him nectar drink. I think it was charnamrita or something. And I could like, he said, is this tequila? And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Spiritual tequila <laughs> definitely packs a punch, but not the kind you're thinking. And he gave a twenty dollar donation. <laughs> so my point was try to help others, because even if. You don't think you'll be very successful at giving others Krishna consciousness. Uh, you'll be purified by it, and, and they will take it. People will take it from those who are purified by the process of Krishna consciousness. Is that okay? Hare Krishna. There are several initiates who are taking second initiation today. And the first is Ashraya Madhava Prabhu, who received Mantra Diksha this afternoon and will be starting his chanting his Gayatri mantras from now to the end of his life. If you'll please come up. We'd like to give you a... Shri Madhava Prabhu, we pray that Lord Chaitanya will bless you with uncommon spiritual power and that you'll develop pure love for Krishna by chanting the Gayatri mantras. Here's your Brahmin's thread. Be careful how you open it. Get an expert. Because <laughs> it's really easy to get tangled up, just like in the material world. You've got to be really careful. We're, we're very proud of you. And please... Um, take responsibility now that you're a Brahmin to help spread the Krishna consciousness movement and take on as much service as possible and leave the material world behind. Okay? Please say yes. <laughs> well, guess who's next? It's Sukharupa Devi Dasi. Haribo! <laughs> This afternoon, uh, she sat and I gave her the mantras that were passed on to me by Srila Prabhupada. Feet here, we have a special arrangement. There, now. Just offer obeisances. We're very proud of you for your steadiness here at ISV for taking the process of chanting Hare Krishna as your life and soul. And now, by Lord Chaitanya's arrangement, you've become an initiated brahmana. And you have these esoteric, beautiful mantras to chant every day. Please make this your life and soul. Always think of Krishna and try to do as much service as possible and get ready to go back home, back to Godhead. Forget the material world. Okay? It's Go Druma Prana. Haribo. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Go Druma Prana Prabhu, you've been dedicated to spreading the holy names all over the world, starting in New York, which is a good place to start from, because it's a microcosm of the whole world. 
you're the image of a, a brahmana. You have very pure countenance, and you've dedicated yourself to serving in a very a gentle mood. Uh, you're helping many people to become Krishna conscious through your preaching, and you've been extremely steady in the practice of Krishna consciousness. And now Lord Chaitanya is promoting you. Prabhupada said, we're in a corporation. You start in the mail room, and you work your way up to CEO, and he said he wants everybody to become a CEO. This is an entrepreneurial organization. We're not sitting around here. We're, 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 we want to move things in the world. We want to shake things up, right? Say yes. yes. <laughs> this is your license to shake it up. Hadi <laughs> Bhav. Pranagopika. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Pranagopi, you light up everyone's life with your uh, artistic flair, with your love for Sanskrit, for Krishna, everything related to shlokas. You're a storehouse of, of, of uh, wisdom that you received as a child. It always comes out when you speak. And you've been very, very steady and enthusiastic. And this is um, such a great pleasure on behalf of Srila Prabhupada and the whole disciplic succession to give you these um, mantras. And uh, I pray that they will empower you to expand your influence all over the world to help other people become Christian conscious. Gaur Premanande Haribo. Ujwala Rasa Devi Dasi. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Thanks me for being one of the mothers of ISV who takes care of so many. For, of course, you saved our lives during the pandemic. She cooked for us so many times. Haribo. <laughs> You're uh, an example of everything that's good about this process because just by coming here day after day, year after year, you've become a purified soul who's, everybody's noticed your advancement in Krishna consciousness. And that's why you're taking this initiation today, because this is real. You actually moved up to a really high position through your service, right? <laughs> you and your family made a conscious decision. You could have gone anywhere in the world and been successful, because that's, you're just successful people. And but you decided, in fact, we talked about it a lot for long periods of time, and you made a conscious choice. We're staying here, we're going to make a stand here in Silicon Valley and make a difference in the Christian conscious movement. You've done that. So I pray to Srila Prabhupada and to Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to shower you with their mercy and give you all impetus to give your whole heart and soul to serving uh, their lotus feet and to helping devotees everywhere pick up your mood. Hare Krishna.
Lokaram Prabhu. Hari Ma. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Lokaram Prabhu. I told you today. My main samskar was meeting you at the top of the stairs in the attic of the Chicago temple, chased after me. How many years ago was it? Eight years ago. Anyway, I recognize a powerful intellect in you. And then I saw how devotees around you have uh, been taking shelter of your steadiness and of your wisdom and the way that you uh, set an example for others through your steadiness in Christian consciousness. And wherever you go, you're making a difference by your sober practice of Krishna consciousness, raising a family, doing so much service. And I thank you very, very much. I feel ecstatic to be connected with you and to be able to assist you with this connection to Srila Prabhupada and the whole parampara. May you become a great leader of the Krishna consciousness movement and use your powerful intellect to spread Krishna consciousness in amazing ways. Everyone who agrees with this idea, please say Hare Krishna. <laughs> Let's uh, recognize our great uh, appreciation for the devotees who had just taken second initiation. It's a huge thing, huge thing. It's a big step in Krishna consciousness. It's, um, it's the topmost position here in the material world. And we pray that all of you will feel nurtured by these mantras and by your connection to Lord Chaitanya through chanting the mantras. Gaur Premanande Haribo. And now we're going to um, bring up the devotees who are taking the Harinam initiation. This means that they're making vows, which is something everyone in Silicon Valley should lean into right now. What does it mean to make a vow? Yes, I'm going to control my senses for the rest of my life. That is heavy stuff. And it means that I'm going to chant every day 16 rounds. It means that you have developed this shraddha, the most valuable substance of faith in Krishna and his holy name, and that you're leaving the material world. You're bound for Goloka Vrindavan. And so we're going to start way overseas with Bhaktin Vladislava. Vladislava. And we have, we have someone who's going to hand her beads. Could you wave so everyone can know where you are on the screen? Haribo. <laughs> Haribo! <laughs> See, we pandemic survivors all know how to connect through Zoom now, right? <laughs> <laughs> and if it wasn't for Zoom, we wouldn't have Bhagavad Gita because Sanjaya was there getting some kind of transmission. <laughs> we just have mechanical arrangement. Vladislava, we're very proud of you and uh, excited to be connected with you right now. And do you have somebody there that wants to say a word? Yes, I do. This okay, is please. Uh, Mahendra Prabhu. Oh, Mahendra's there. Yes. yes. Okay. Hare well, Mahendra is my life and soul. Good to see you, Prabhu. I couldn't tell it was you because the camera angle is pretty far back. But I recognize your voice. You can stay where you are. <laughs> Please, go ahead. I'm very honored to be assisting you in this way. <clears throat> and uh, I'm happy for Bhakti and Vladislava to take this <clears throat> important step in her spiritual path. I know her since uh, several years, and uh, she is shown to be a very 
uh, sincere and very serious devotee, uh, inquisitive always, desiring to learn and study Shiva Prabhupada's books, and also very eager to do service. Uh, she's helping uh, making garlands and dresses for the deities and the temple, and uh, also helping in um, the process of editing Shiva Prabhupada's books in uh, Bulgarian, and as a whole, very, very uh, sincere soul. Uh, so I'm uh, really happy that uh, she chose you and she is uh, making this important step to surrender now officially and to join uh, your wonderful spiritual family. And uh, I wish her all success in uh, her Krishna consciousness. Thank you. Haribo! Haribo! Mahi. Where are they broadcasting from? Which city is it you're in? Well, this is a tiny village at the Black Sea. She came here because I'm based here. <laughs> she came just uh, so that uh, she wants it uh, here. In front of our deities, um, Shalagram, Radha Gopina, Gorni, Tayashi, Shijagana, Bhavir, Subhadra Devi. Jai. And uh, because, yes, <laughs> so she, that's uh, it called Emona, just is the most eastern part of Bulgaria. Now it's just uh, almost three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so, Hare Krishna, Bulgaria Yatra <laughs> Ki. <laughs> Mahendra Prabhu every year comes to our retreat in Govardhan to sit and listen to Bhagavatam. That's his basic business in life is to hear in Krishna Kata and speaking it and spreading it to other people. And you had practically everything to do with me meeting Bhaktin Vladislava. And I thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. And now Bhaktin Vladislava for the next uh, 60 seconds or, uh, or a few more. Uh, please tell us which vows you're making today. Dear Guru Maharaj, dear Guru Ma, dear devotees, please accept my humble obeisances, all glories to Sri Prabhupada. I hereby uh, vow to follow the four regulative principles, namely, no meat eating, and, uh, including fish and eggs, onion and garlic also. No illicit sex, no intoxication, no gambling. I vow to chant six, at least 16 rounds daily of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. I vow to avoid offenses and criticism against the Vaishnavas. And I vow to read Sri Prabhupada's books, listen to his lectures and serve his mission until the rest of my life. Hare Krishna. Haribo! Haribo! So you have someone there? To, is Mahendra Prabhu, do you have beads to yes. hand her? Okay, good. Yes. And well, we'll, we will be mailing you your certificate but handing it to you virtually just now. Following the eternal principle of parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous Acharyas and all the Vaishnav devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees, I'm exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple and therefore a grand disciple of his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all the previous Acharyas and the ocean of mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. I hereby joyfully award you the name Vinaya Keshavi Dasi. Vinaya 
केशविदास जी की विनय केशविदास जी की विनय केशविदास जी की And next we have from all the way from Coimbatore. Where is Pri Kishorian? From your hometown. <laughs> Coimbatore, what a beautiful place. We have Bhakta Rohit, who will today be taking initiation. And do you have someone there who would like to say a couple words? Um, um, I've got with me um, Her Grace Keshava Priya Madhavi Devidasi Mataji. So she'll be talking a few, a few words about me. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Vaisheshika Prabhu Dandavad Pranams. All glories to Srila Prabhupada and all glories to the Vaishnavas assembled there. Uh, I am Keshava Priya Madhavi Devidasi. I'm initiated by His Holiness uh, um, Jayapataka Swami Maharaj. And uh, I am associated with Drogit for the past three years. He's a very nice boy. And ever since I am into KC, I wanted a son who is per perfectly situated in KC. And to fulfill my desire, Krishna has sent Drogit to me. And I am, he's taking care of me and I am taking care of him for the past three years. He's a very nice boy, properly situated in Bhakti. I'm really stunned by the staunch faith he has on so holy name. He takes holy name as his oxygen. He used to tell me, without holy name, how people cannot live without oxygen. I cannot live without holy name. And the staunch faith and the reverent awe and reverence. And Nityananda Prabhu is really astonishing. He always takes your words. Every time he, when he hears a lecture from you, next day I will be having a lecture for half an hour. What you deliver to him, he will deliver to me. And because of him, I am following you, Guru Maharaj, for the past two years. And uh, really, I love this uh, wonderful association of Islam Silicon Valley, wonderful organization. And I know many of you, you don't know me, but I know many of you because of Rohit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's really very inspiring to many newcomers. He's been uh, uh, preaching to many newcomers, very young, young youth people here. And they take him as an inspiration. So I'm very happy to be here, to be with them. It is really Krishna's arrangement. He was he actually came here to just stay with me for 10 days before he leave Coimbatore. But uh, because of your causeless mercy, Vashashika Prabhu, he is here with me during his initiation. So I really pray and bless Rohit that he should eternally situate at your lotus feet and just serve the Guru Parampara and serve all the people around the world to spread the Sangeetna movement. Just as a squirrel helped draw Ram, I am sure that Rogit will help you all, you know, all in this uh, spreading this movement. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you. Dr. Rohit, we're especially pleased to hear about you helping the youth there in South India. And we're looking forward to seeing you expand your services and uh, also your graphic arts talents to help spread the Krishna conscious movement. Please tell us what vows you've come to make today. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to your lotus feet. Um, I hereby vow to follow the, uh, strictly adhere to the four regulative principles, which are as follows. No intoxication, no eating of meat, fish and eggs, onion and garlic, no gambling, no illicit sex. I also adhere to chanting minimum of 16 rounds of Hare Krishna Mahamantra every day. And I strictly adhere to scrutinizingly study Srila Prabhupada's books and spread Srila Prabhupada's teachings to as many people as possible. Hare Krishna. Hare <laughs> Following the eternal principle of Parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, 
and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous acharyas and all the Vaishnava devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees. I'm exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple and therefore a grand disciple of his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all the previous acharyas and the ocean of mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. I hereby joyfully award you the name Rasayana Kata Das. <laughs> Did you hand his beads? Do you have beads to hand him? We'll send them we, to you. We, we, They're on their way, DHL. <laughs> Everyone, please stand up for one moment and say Goranga. Uh, Radisham, Prabhu, please come up. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Radisham Prabhu, you have such a sincere heart and have been practicing Krishna consciousness since you were in the womb because your parents are extremely exalted personalities on this planet. Sri Rag and Narada Priya, your parents, so everybody knows, are right over there if you don't mind. <laughs> Narda Priya, Devi Dasi is like the mother of the universe, nurturing everybody, and Sri Rag Prabhu is like the architect of the universe. He builds temples everywhere constantly, 24 hours a day without stopping, and nobody knows how old he is or whether he's been here for hundreds of years. We can't tell. But they drove all the way across the country, all the way from the East Coast to come here, and not only that, all of... Radisham Prabhu's um, friends and brethren are here all the way from Southern California. They would have brought a school bus full of devotees because <laughs> that's how many people love him. But uh, we said um, we have a small-ish temple room. <laughs> and so we couldn't fit everybody. So it's very heartfelt today that you're taking initiation here at ISV. And we'd like to hear a few words from your parents. Well, to, to know a little something about Radhi Sham would help in his uh, relationship with everyone. Uh, you got to hold that really close. It's hard to hear. Radhi Sham, uh, uh, his beginnings of taking interest in the process. Uh, we moved to Mayapur from Dallas when he was about seven, eight years old. And he, um, we enrolled him into the, and we enrolled him in the uh, Gurukul in in Mayapur, Maharaj's uh, Gurukul. And while he was there, he was transforming, you know, from a, from a Western, you know, cultured person to a Vedic cultured person. And it was amazing. He would come home, and then he would be offering obeisances to his mother and father, touching her mother's feet, and. And uh, he would help with cooking. I remember he said, Mom, Mom, let me make the nectar drink. And what he made this nectar drink that he uh, learned to make at the Gurukul. You know, some, it was very nice. I used to cook it for Sunday feast and serve it later. It was very nice. And 
And for myself, I always, you know, was very uh, influenced by, you know, Srila Prabhupada, of course, and, you know, the history of his life. And I always used to wanted to raise my children like uh, Prabhupada's father was raising Prabhupada. His mother wanted him to go to school, but his father said, I'd rather he learn to play Murdanga and become a servant of Radharani. So anyway, I always wish that for my children, that they'd always become nice devotees. And, uh, you know, although I haven't been in an initiation ceremony, I don't know how long. This is the first time I've been in an initiation ceremony, I think, in 20, 30 years. I was always working and, you know, always doing something. But I'm, I'm very glad that he's taking up this process. So, and other things that he was, he's achieved, he's become an expert Murdanga player. I never expect, he was, we were living and we came, we moved back from India, went to Denver, and then it's kind of the Western culture is all creeping in again. And, uh, but I don't, he somehow or other, he made, he made some money working with, with my son-in-law, um, working with him steadily every day and I was surprised that you know he was working and he would also also do a lot of services with me he, he helped me build cabinets and uh, built libraries and uh, you know with uh, building home our home in that, in uh, Mississippi he was there helping and <clears throat> and then uh, but then after he made some money working with my son-in-law he went to India and he stayed there for months. I think that's when he met Vaisheshika at one of the retreats there in, at Govardhan. And uh, then when he came back from India, he was like an expert Murdanga player. And then he started doing kirtans. And he was always doing kirtans and loved to do kirtans. He loved to go on Harinam. He was always enthusing others to, let's go do bhajans, let's go on Harinam. And even during the pandemic, he's doing Harinams down on Venice Beach and you know, although he was uh, advised by temple authorities not to, still he was, you know, doing, doing his, doing his Harinam. So it was, it was pretty amazing. And uh, he's, and I, I noticed he started reading more Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita. So uh, I'm very happy and very proud for this day that he is uh, um, going to get uh, connected to the live wire. So, <laughs> all right. So, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Bhakta Radisham, you um, so you've met the bona fide distributor, and I I pray to Krishna and Prabhupada and all the Vaishnavas that you will take his instructions with. Hearing, hearing his instructions with enthusiasm and keeping them in your heart and by the grace of the Lord executing them and, um, and then you will achieve may you achieve success in taking what he's offering here that he was talking about the product the Krishna Prem you have the bona fide spiritual master here so thank you very much Hare Krishna <laughs> Just w want to hear one hurry bowl from all his friends back there to see how much you appreciate him getting initiated. <laughs> Dr. Radishan, please tell us w what vows uh, you're going to make today. Then on. Is it on? Great. Yes. I, from now on, vow to follow the four regulative principles of freedom. No meat, fish, or eggs. No intoxication. No gambling. And no illicit sex. And I vow to make a study of Srila Prabhupada's books and to engage in Harinam Sankirtan, hopefully for the rest of my life. And I vow to chant at least 16 rounds of the Mahamantra 
daily. Haribo! <laughs> Following the eternal principle of Parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous Acharyas and all the Vaishnava devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees. I'm exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple, and therefore a grand disciple of his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhvagodya Sampradaya. May all of the previous Acharyas and the ocean of mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. I hereby joyfully award you the name Radhe Sham Ananda Das. Radhe Sham Ananda Das Radhe Sham Ananda Das Kaviuti. Radhe Sham Ananda Das Kaviuti. So we're not used to real beads, we virtual beads. <laughs> Dr. Dylan, please come up. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Dr. Dillon, thank you very much for dedicating your life to the process of Krishna consciousness and especially for taking up one of Prabhupada's main initiatives, which is to start sustainable farming around the world. You've distinguished yourself in that way. And devotees who know you deeply appreciate your seriousness about Krishna consciousness and the practice of Krishna consciousness. And it's led to, led to this by Lord Chaitanya's mercy. So um, is there someone that's going to speak on your behalf today? I requested Deva Madhava Das. On okay. Phone. I don't know if he got my message. It was last minute. Is Deva Madhava Prabhu? Yes, he's there. Hi. Hi, Hare Krishna Prabhu. Welcome, Deva Madhava Prabhu. My obeisances to you, Prabhu. Thank you for having me. Mine to you. Uh, I request the devotees at ISV first to just bless me. I can come in person one day every year. I'm getting the chance to see the ceremony now, and it's always making my heart feel pulled more and more there. Um, about Dylan, he contacted me um, hearing that we had this opportunity uh, of some land, and he had this desire in his heart to fulfill that uh, instruction of Srila Prabhupada's to develop self-sufficient communities. And the reassurance that I got, because many people have this kind of romantic idea that they will execute on this, and it's a, a trendy thing even outside of our devotee community now to want to farm and sustainable agriculture, etc. But Dylan came from a place already uh, within our society where he tried to do that, and it hadn't worked out. And as many of you who have been around for a little while know, there will be obstacles in Krishna consciousness, and those are always tests uh, from the Lord and from the sadhus as to whether or not we are going to be deserving of, of the trust that they'll extend to us eventually. And so when Dylan was discussing his experience with me and, and the usual direction of those experiences that now I don't want to do it anymore, now I don't, I don't want to have that service, I just want to stay quiet, stay away. Uh, and not bother with the, the society and the development of such things. Instead, it was a very sober perspective on how he can do better this time, uh, how he wants to do better, and how, whether I accept it or not, he's going to do it. <laughs> and when he uh, gave me that reassurance that, and that maturity that he was able to convey that with, 
I knew, all right, it's, it's worth taking a shot on this Bach to Dylan. <laughs> so we were very happy to bring him to Ypsilanti and, and it's been uh, uh, a, a romance developing ever since. And so I'm just very grateful to be a small part <clears throat> of uh, his being able to execute in that service. And there's several of his uh, Harmony Collected brethren around me right now. We're, we're doing a small... <laughs> so there's, there's the Hari Bowl from his friends in the, in the back back, in the digital corner. <laughs> so we're very happy for you, Dylan. Congratulations. And thank you, Prabhu, for extending this grace to him. Thank you very much, Deva Madhava Prabhu, for, for doing what you're doing there and exhibiting such leadership and making a base through which so many stalwarts can come in and help to spread the Krishna conscious movement, including our very own Bhakti Dillon. Hari Bol. <laughs> Bhakti Dillon, please tell us the vows. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, and Guru Maharaj, please accept my most humble obeisances. And to uh, all the assembled Vaishnavas, please accept my obeisances. Today I vow to abstain from meat eating, fish and eggs also, and garlic and onions. And I vow to abstain from intoxication, gambling, and illicit sex. I vow to avoid making offenses to Vaishnavas. And I vow to systematically read Srila Prabhupada's books. And I vow <laughs> to <laughs> chant 16 rounds. At least. Of, oh, we just say at least. It gives a clause. <laughs> Go ahead. At least 16 rounds of Hare Krishna Maha Mantra every day. <laughs> Following the eternal principle of parampara taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous Acharyas and all the Vaishnava devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees, I'm exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple, <clears throat> and therefore a disciple of His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all the previous Acharyas and the Ocean of Mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. I very, very joyfully award you the name Deva Darshan Das. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Back to Edwin. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Hari Bo, Bhakti Edwin, thank you very much for being here. He's here with, their, he's newly wedded to Bhakti B, who's also right here. Hari Bo. And do you have someone who's going to speak on your behalf today? Deva Madhava Prabhu, you're up again. <laughs> Thanks for having me back. <laughs> um, Edwin and I have known each other for almost eight years now and I've been moved by his and, and my own comfort with his um, readiness for this step in his devotional life is just that he's been around that long <laughs> eight years being in uh, a place where there isn't direct devotee association and Time and time again, he would drive the hour and a half, two hours, three hours to come to the Harinam, to come to the festival, to come when there was an elevated devotee speaking some kata. And over the years, he's developed his seriousness to a place now where he, he decided to make the move and come over to Ypsilanti and, and stay in closer association with the devotees. And he brought B, this wonderful person, with him. And that's the other thing that's always impressed me about Edwin 
is his very down-to-earth way of sharing Krishna consciousness. It's, it's very natural, and it attracts those that already have relationships with him, which is something... Sorry, I'm, I'm not having my camera on because I'm a little disheveled for, and the signal is weak. Um, but it, it, it's something I've actually never personally been able to do in all my endeavors to share Krishna consciousness is like get somebody who already knew me <laughs> to accept that Krishna consciousness is valuable uh, to the degree of being a practitioner. And that's something I've seen Edwin do several times in his Krishna consciousness just by his own natural faith and simplicity of heart. So I admire Edwin for that. I admire him for taking up the distribution of Prabhupada's books, especially we have this little program called Each One Carry One, where we encourage devotees to just always have a few books with them. And he and B are, are stalwarts of that program, and they're, they're always sharing one or two or three stories a week of who they met out at the bank, out at the grocery store. And those people come to the temple. They come with interest because they've met Edwin and B. So I, uh, I ask Edwin to bless me in that way with a little bit of that simplicity to be able to share um, so straightforward um, the process of Krishna consciousness. And again, Prabhu, I thank you for extending this grace to him today. Could you please give us the Hari Bowl from that side then? Hari! Pretty good. Uh, we, we've got one for Lokaram also. Mm -hmm. Hari! <laughs> we should make a little tunnel from Ypsilanti to here. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. I think that uh, you know, we can work on that. All right. So please tell us the vows. I vow to no gambling, no illicit sex. Uh, help me out here. Me eating. No meat eating. <laughs> I knew I was going to fumble this as soon as I got up here. No meat eating, no fish, no eggs, no garlic or no onion, um, no intoxication. I vow to chant a minimum of 16 Hare Krishna Maha Mantra rounds every single day. I vow to read Srila Prabhupada's books every single day and to work very, very hard to never, ever offend a single Vaishnav for the rest of my days. Haribo! Yeah, he said it. I think that was first. He said it, yeah. We have our attorney on, <laughs> on here. There's always a referee when you have a yagya. It's very important. Following the eternal principle of parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order. By the way, Bhakti B, thank you very much for being such a supportive and ecstatic Krishna conscious wife. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Following the eternal principle of parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous Acharyas and all the Vaishnav devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees. I am exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple, and therefore a grand disciple of His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all the previous Acharyas and the Ocean of Mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. A very beads. Thank you. Very joyfully, a word you in the name, Ekanti Govinda Das. His grace, Ekanti Govinda Das ki. Ekanti Govinda Das ki. It can be going the last for Buki. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Back to Ivan. Hare Krishna. Bhakti 
talk to Ivan. We're so excited that you're here. And um, we hear so many good things from devotees wherever you go about the services that you're doing. And now we'd like to hear from, who are we hearing from now? Ratnabushan. We got Ratnabushan to come here. If you didn't see him because of his mask, he's actually here, right there. Hare Krishna. Ratnabushan Prabhu, could you say a few words since you came here specifically all the way from Los Angeles? If you don't know Ratnabushan Prabhu, half your life is wasted. He's, he's the, the life and soul of New Dorka for many, many years, building Rathayatra carts, doing for around the world, um, making everything work at New Dwarka and never stopping working himself ever. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Thank you for being here. All around the world. San Francisco, everywhere. He's taken up just after Jayananda Prabhu left, just as the Bhagavatam came after Krishna left. Ratnabushan, just after Jayananda. Hare Krishna. Please go ahead, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Shall I set my obeisances? All glory to Srila Prabhupada. Uh, yeah, I came to appreciate Dr. Ivan. He's been in LA, LA off and on for several years, except when Sri Rog steals him away to Mississippi. <laughs> but uh, I've worked with him a lot. He's a very humble devotee, uh, likes to take, serve the devotees and do anything he's asked. And um, we are working up at Maheshwar's house in Ojai, building a Rathayatra cart with Rupananda. And Ivan came up with us and would, you know, he'd work day and night. And what I really appreciate about Ivan is sometimes I'd hear him chanting his japa and he chanted very nice japa. It's one thing that saddens me when I see a devotee chant their japa and they may slur the words or mumble or miss some words. I think, geez, why are you wasting your time? But Ivan chanted very nice, you know, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare, Hare Rama, 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 Hare Rama, Hare, Hare, Hare Hare. So I thought that's, that's when you really take it seriously that I heard one devotee ask Srila Prabhupada, well, when we're chanting Japa, should we, should we think of Radha and Krishna, or what should we meditate on? And Prabhupada said, you should just try to hear. So that's why you, know, you chant 16 rounds, so by the time you've done that, it's embedded, and it'll be with you all day long, and you won't, nothing else can enter, because you've been saturated with the Hare Krishna mantra. So Ivan was very good at chanting nice mantras, and uh, serving very humbly. He had little turmoil a couple of times he left because he had you know, anxiety about, well, do I need to earn an income? And then he'd go do that. And he said, well, no, but I hate the karmi, so he'd have to come back to the temple. And <laughs> that was kind of hard. And he, his mother would tell him, no, you have to have a job. And he'd get a job again. And he said, no, I can't stand working with these. I got to be around the temple. So he couldn't stay away from the devotees. He's very attached to Krishna and his service. And uh, all his friends... Really like him, appreciate him. I've never seen him be offensive to anyone, and uh, very humble and dedicated to do service. Hi, Sajjika Prabhu. Yes, Hi, Prabhu. Sir, you mentioned something about Bhakt Ivan also. Um, Ivan, uh, very steady. You know, he would uh, and. I worked, we did the Pujari Room in L.A. together. We did the uh, Govinda's restaurant, the Govinda's gift shop, and he, he was there every day. But when I tried to get him to work later, come on, we can go to seven, you know, or maybe eight. He goes, no, 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 Prabhu, I, I have to do my reading. Or, or in the, I tried to get him to come early in the morning, you know, I say, but he goes, ah, Prabhu, I have to chant my round. So in that way, it was very steady working, reading, Chanting, very nice. Thank you. Bhakti, even please tell us the freedom vows. Guru Maharaj, Guru Mata, I vow to follow all the four regular principles for the rest of my life. 
Although no meat eating, no onion or garlic, no fish or eggs, no illicit sex, no intoxication, no gambling, as well as to read Srila Prabhupada's books every day and chant my rounds to the best of my ability. How many rounds? 16. At least. At least 16. Haribo! <laughs> Following the eternal principle of parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous Acharyas, and all the Vaishnava devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees, I am exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple, and therefore a grand disciple of His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all the previous acharyas and the ocean of mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you, shower you with their grace. On this day, I very joyfully award you the name Ishvara Chandra Puri Das. His grace, Ishvara Chandra Puri Das Prabhu Ki. His grace, Ishvara Chandra Puri Das Prabhu Ki. His grace is rich and their puri das prabhu ki. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Bhaktin Mina. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. possible for us to have an asan here for the when the initiates come up they can sit on maybe uh, <laughs> Bhakti Mina we're everyone's so pleased to have you here for the beautiful kirtan you're doing Anupam Prabhu is here also that's her husband, and they work together in Krishna consciousness and uh, very harmoniously and beautifully uh, spreading Krishna consciousness through book distribution, Hari Nam, and spirit of cooperation. Are you going to say a few words? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> so when Minna first came, one of the first things we did together was read Krishna book. And just from that first experience, she actually began tearing up because she was saying how beautiful it was. I think we're reading the description of Autumn, and she was extremely moved by it. And ever since then, she's been giving a similar experience to others through her kirtan. It's a phenomenon, actually. <laughs> There's a lot of tears that tend to fall when Mina leads in the Bhakti Center and other programs. So she's empowered. And um, she's empowered by you, Guru Dave, and uh, by her own honesty. She, it's a notable quality of hers that she um, doesn't fall prey to the um, pitfall of trying to make herself more than what she is. And she's extremely honest in terms of her mood while she's chanting. And I think that manifests in, uh, in many ways, especially in the effect it has on others. And part of this also, she, by her own measures, says she's not into austerity so much. But if you observe her uh, ac actual activities, you could see that that's not actually true. There's been countless occasions where she's gone down into the subways with, with myself to uh, set up book tables in um, conditions where it wasn't exactly warm enough to be outside probably yet, but we were out there <laughs> together and doing books. And... Um, and so many other circumstances like that. So I just admire her so much for her honesty and her level-headed way of practicing Krishna consciousness. And I'm so proud of her on this day. And I'm sure it's the start of something really amazing by your grace, Guru Dave. So thank you.
Bhakti Nina, please tell us the vows of freedom. Yes. Hare Krishna, Guru Dev, Guru Ma, please accept my obeisances. Please accept my obeisances, all the assembled Vaishnavas here. Hare Krishna. I vow to follow the four regulative principles, namely no meat, eating, fish or eggs, no intoxication, no gambling, no illicit sex. I also vow to chant minimum of 16 rounds of Maha Mantra, Hare Krishna Maha Mantra on my beads daily for the rest of my life. I also vow to make a study of Srila Prabhupada's books daily. In addition to that, I also vow to try my best to avoid criticizing devotees, especially on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and I also, in addition to that, I vow to try my best to, like you said, not take the holy name for granted. Hare right, Krishna. <laughs> Following the eternal principle of parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous acharyas and all the Vaishnav devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees, I'm exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple and therefore a grand disciple of his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all the previous acharyas and the ocean of mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. I hereby very joyfully award you the name Mani Manjri Devi Dasi. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Rama Rama Hare Hare. Now, everyone, um, please stand up for one minute. Please, please say, raise your hands as high as you can and say, Go Ranga. <laughs> Everyone okay? Yeah. Better than you're better than okay. You're on a launching pad going back to Goloka. You're now we call Srivatsa. <laughs> home field advantage. <laughs> Srivatsa Prabhu, we're so proud of you. I remember you as a, one of my most distinctive memories is giving class in, on, uh, what was that last place? Bascom, yeah. We we're sitting on Bascom and I remember giving a class one Saturday morning and the door flew open <laughs> <laughs> and you walked right across the the room, intent on something. It wasn't the class at the time. <laughs> you were just tiny, but you had this look of determination in your eye, and I, I, I sensed some special quality in you that's never left you, the intensity 
through which you approach everything and how you put your heart into everything. And uh, the devotees here, I mean, we're, we're family here. We grew up together, and I can't say that there's any difference between the, 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 the idyllic kind of uh, ashram life everyone re thinks of, guru, disciple, we're all together. It seems like that's the case. We grew up together, and we also went on Sankirtan when you were five years old. And we have photographic evidence to prove it. <laughs> so, yes, we have Sukeshri is here. Hi, yes. Krishna Prabhu. <laughs> I'm totally filled with gratitude, Prabhu. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything. I don't know what I have to tell you about him. You've seen him since he was crawling around, entering into Radha Madan Mohan's altar. <laughs> and she, and Sabre would get him back and say, oh, we have a trouble Das here. <laughs> Well, I want to thank Hansapriya because she said Das, today is going to become Das of you, <laughs> Srila Prabhupada and the entire Guru Parampara and Shri Radha Madan Mohan and the Vaishnavas. I was just looking at the old um, pictures, the videos. I was just thinking that how much you would actually, when we went to Kanka Mataji's house, you were playing blindfold with all the kids. And then, <laughs> so, I mean, he didn't, he saw you, he had so much of model that he wanted to follow. You've been with him all through. As you said, first book distribution, everything first he did with you. So, thank you, Mataji, for being there. You know, so much affection. I don't think I could have asked for more. When I left Radha Gopinath and Chaupati, I was not too sure where I was going. But I am so thankful for everything. I just have gratitude. We're not worth anything. Also, want to thank my Prabhu for all this support. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Hare Sukeshri and Ravi Prabhu, we're we're so grateful to you for all that you've done. Uh, you are the essence and of this kind of Silicon Valley. You've been here since the beginning, and you've been the spirit of the place, selfless service, and working together. And we're, we're all eternally grateful to you and couldn't imagine uh, separation from you at any time. So we pray to always be together. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Okay. Major motion picture. Uh, my humble obeisances to Vaisheshika Prabhu and to all my devotee friends at um, Iskon Silicon Valley. Um, and my, my congratulations to all the initiates today. Uh, Sri Vatsa Prabhu, uh, my sincere congratulations, best wishes, and obeisances to you on this auspicious occasion. Srila Prabhupada says that there are two uh, great fortunes that any child can have, and one is the guidance of Krishna conscious parents, and the other is the shelter of a bona fide spiritual master. You are very fortunate because you have both. You have had the guidance of wonderful Krishna conscious parents. And today you will be receiving the shelter of a bona fide spiritual master in the line of his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Um, this, is, this should be an occasion of great pride, uh, great pride for all of your well-wishers and friends and especially your parents that you are <clears throat> ready and able to take this crucial step in your Krishna consciousness. It should, it should also be an occasion of great pride for you uh, in the fact that you are now taking spiritual birth in such an illustrious um, family, a heritage of Vaishnava Acharyas. 
um, with uh, um, beginning with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself, the six Goswamis of Vrindavan, all Bhakti Vedantas coming to our own um, Srila Prabhupada. Uh, and of course, your spiritual master, Vaisheshika Prabhu, wonderfully exemplifies this quality of Bhakti Vedanta. Uh, he is most learned and encourages everyone uh, in under his guidance to become learned in the Vaishnav Shastras, uh, especially Srila Prabhupada's books. And um, he is then able to take that learning and apply it in his own practice and in giving it uh, to so many people whom he encounters. And this is the essence of bhakti. Uh, bhaj comes from the root uh, uh, to share uh, is what it means fundamentally. And so in giving bhakti to the world, uh, we cultivate that bhakti in ourselves and we reach what is the essence of that devotional service. Um, and so what good fortune is today and what a matter of pride to have taken spiritual birth in such an illustrious and um, powerful line of Bhaktivedanta stretching all the way back to the Lord himself. Um, at the same time, uh, when we take birth in such an illustrious family, uh, then with that comes great responsibility uh, that we are able to properly represent those uh, who come before us. And um, that is no ordinary thing. It takes a lifetime of work and practice uh, so that we can become worthy recipients of this honor that we are receiving today. And um, I wish you the very, very best in your Krishna consciousness, in your practice going forward, as you find ways of representing Srila Prabhupada, representing the six Goswamis of Vrindavan, representing your own wonderful spiritual master, and doing the best to embody these qualities of devotion and knowledge that are so much characteristic of our Sampradaya. My best wishes to you and to all the initiates today. Thank you so much for this opportunity to say a few words on this auspicious occasion. Hare Krishna. Shivatsa Prabhu, please tell us the vows of freedom. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj. Um, I first vow to chant a minimum of 16 rounds of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra every day. I vow to follow the four regulative principles, namely, no meat eating, no fish, no eggs, no onion, no garlic, no illicit sex, no gambling, and no intoxication. I also vow to make all of my life goals in the direction of serving and pleasing all of the Vaishnavas. Following the eternal principle of parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous Acharyas and all the Vaishnava devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees. I'm exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple and therefore a grand disciple of his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all the previous Acharyas in the ocean of mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. I very joyfully award you the name Shastrasar Pradadas. Bhakti Vrinda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare 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 H
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Bhakti Vrinda, you've always been a person who is obviously serious about Krishna consciousness and talented and good at whatever you do and like a, a fruit that ripened very quickly on the vine ready to take to Krishna consciousness and we're all very joyful for this day that you're taking these vows with your heart and soul and we're extremely thankful for your parents who have Ramrati and Kamala Shri who have given you the most loving Krishna conscious upbringing that anyone could imagine dedicated every single day to the practice of Krishna consciousness and giving their hearts and souls to their Guru Maharaj and serving the Krishna consciousness movement now we see the, the result of, of such an environment coming from the loving hearts of such Krishna conscious parents. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Going to Charan Prabhu, are you the designated speaker? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I have known uh, Vrinda since she was born in Seattle, when we all used to live in Seattle. Um, and then they had to move to India, and then they came back to U.S. to a city in East Coast where they did not have that much association. So Ramrati, Prabhu, and Kamalashri were asking us, uh, what should we do? Um, in the sense, because they were not getting that much association. So we advised them, gave them suggestion that they could move to ISKCON of Silicon Valley. As usual, there were so many considerations, but you know, we, we have seen other ISV youth being nurtured in this environment. So we suggested them to move, and we are so happy that they took that decision and then they moved, So, which gave Vrinda a very nice environment to grow up in Krishna consciousness under your shelter, Maharaj and Mataji's guidance and all their other friends. So I'm so happy to see her come to this stage. And, uh, you know, and I, uh, I would like to read a small uh, blurb from our Guru Maharaj who wrote an email about her when she took your shelter. Is it okay? Yes. Dearest Vrinda Devi, please accept my blessings. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Your father has written to me that this coming Saturday you will be taking official shelter of His Grace Vaisheshika Prabhu, my very dear God brother. I want to say how happy I am for you and how proud I am of you too. It is no small thing that a young lady like yourself shows such determination in spiritual life. We all applaud this decision of yours. Everyone knows what an amazing leader Vaisheshika Prabhu is. He is also the best example of a devotee. You have definitely made the right decision. I wish you all the best in your progress in Krishna consciousness. So Maharaj, I told Maharaj yesterday evening that Vrinda is going to get initiated and he gave his blessings also for her. So Govind Charan and I are so happy to see her come all the way and take your shelter, Maharaj. Thank you. Linda, please tell us your vows. I vowed to follow the four regulative principles of no eating meat, fish, eggs, onion, or garlic, no intoxication, no illicit sex, and no gambling. I also vow to chant a minimum of 16 rounds of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra every day, and I vow to avoid criticizing devotees. <laughs> Thank you.
following the eternal principle of parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous acharyas, and all the Vaishnava devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees. I'm exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple, and therefore a grand disciple of His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all the previous acharyas and the ocean of mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. I hereby very joyfully award you the name Vrinda Ranya Devi Dasi. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Bhaktan Nilesh. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. <laughs> This is, um, as we can see, uh, being all together here at ISV for so many years that everyone has his or her particular rhythm in Krishna consciousness. And you and Neelam have been pillars of this organization from the very beginning. I have to tell you from the bottom of my heart how much I love you too. Hare Krishna. <laughs> Your faithful, steady service over so many years and being such affable spirits here at ISV has been sustaining and we thank you very very much Hare Krishna so uh, okay Hare Krishna Shamalangi is going to speak Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Dhanvat Pranam Maharaj Dhanvat Pranam Maharaj Today is very great day <laughs> and a great moment for me uh, and I am very much happy that uh, my son is getting initiated today and uh, yeah, uh, uh, I, it's, uh, I am very much happy. Thank you, Maharaj. <laughs> Nilesh Prabhu is, uh, I know he's dear to everyone in ISV, but uh, he's, I always feel he's like a younger brother to me. I mean, always we do a lot of service together, and um, the best part about him is he's very genuine. He never puts on. So every Harinam, I ask him, what did you forget today? <laughs> <laughs> and he says, no, nothing, and then we remember something. But he never tries to like, you know, put more on than what he is. So I really appreciate that quality. He's very simple and soft-hearted, and uh, sometimes I guess I annoyed him by asking, how many rounds are you chanting, how many rounds I keep on asking him. But one thing very noticeable is he always wants to please Guru Maharaj. So that is the thing which has been you know, very attractive about him. And I really wish him a 
very successful Krishna conscious life ahead. This is such a great decision he's taking. And may we do many, many more Harinams, biggest Harinams together. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Hare Ilaj, please tell us the vows you've come here to make today. Hare Krishna, man. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. I'm here to take two vows, uh, one on the chanting. Uh, chanting minimum si 16 rounds every day for the rest of my life. And uh, the second vow is uh, uh, follow regulative principles, four regulative principles, that is uh, meat eating, uh, including fish and egg. No. <laughs> no meat eating. Everything is no. <laughs> no. No meat eating. No fish, no eggs. No intoxication. <laughs> no illicit sex. And no gambling. <laughs> And uh, I will make sure that I don't offend anyone uh, and uh, uh, criticize anyone in all the, all the devotees uh, in the world, basically. Haribo! Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Following the eternal principle, I've wanted to say this for so long. Following the eternal principle of Parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous Acharyas and all the Vaishnav devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees, I'm exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple and therefore a grand disciple of His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all of the previous acharyas and the ocean of mercy, Lord Sri Taitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. <laughs> Get ready. I very joyfully award you the name Nitai Kirtan Bihari Das. Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Neelam. Hare Ma! Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. For those of you who are guests or visiting, Neelam and Nilesh are married. They have a beautiful child, Driti, and they've been here at ISV since the very beginning and have been the pillars of ISV in their service and their moods of surrender. And they kept us waiting a little while for the initiation. <laughs> so that's one of the reasons you're f f 
seeing us be uh, ebullient. <laughs> We're feeling ebullience. And thank you very much for your smile shows what's in your heart. It's always been there. And you've been one of the encouragers of all the devotees here at ISV. Your beautiful singing of kirtan has always enchanted all of us. And we're very, very happy for this day. Hare Krishna. Well, that's a big deal. Malini's going to say something for that. Where are you? Okay. Hare Krishna. We have known um, Neelam and Nilesh Prabhu for 16 years um, when they moved to ISV. And the very first service that she did uh, was she used to go to Story Road Walmart. And um, she used to distribute books in Spanish. <laughs> and she was the first person to learn the maximum number of Spanish lines. And um, she distributed books almost for eight hours at the Story Road Walmart every weekend. And at the end of the day, uh, we used to meet back to have prasadam, and then she taught us a few lines in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she also started cooking at the temple. She's an excellent cook. And when she heard that soon only the second initiates uh, will be allowed to cook at the temple, she immediately started um, becoming serious and started increasing her rounds so that she can come up to the point of getting initiation. As you mentioned, she's so talented. She sings beautifully. She does very nice dramas and skits. And um, she has won the heart of everybody. But yet, she remains humble in the background always. She never asked for any appreciation. That's her wonderful quality. And when she mentioned that she's thinking of taking shelter at your lotus feet, I felt that's the best decision she ever made in her entire life. <laughs> and um, um, I pray, and uh, this is also from Shiva's Prabhu, that, um, that you make immense progress under the able guidance of your spiritual master. And uh, please keep us in your association always. Hare Krishna. Dritti, please. Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. How are you? I'm happy. <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> I am also happy that um, both of my parents are getting initiated together. Um, this has been like a recurring dream of mine. Wow. <laughs> yeah, um, I've seen my mom and dad work really hard in increasing the rounds and it's like a dream come true again like it's <laughs> really nice <laughs> so yeah um i also wanted to thank you for accepting my parents without you they would have never been here <laughs> so oh. thank you <laughs> Hi. 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 Jyoti, while we weren't watching, you grew up into a beautiful Vaishnavi. Hare Krishna. That was really wonderful. Thank you. It's very touching. <laughs> Bhakti Neelam, please tell us the vows you've come here to make today. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna, Guru Ma. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. In presence of Sri Sri Radha Madan Mohan, Mahaprabhu Nashimadev and Prabhupada and all the assembled devotees here, I want to take a vow that I will chant minimum 16 rounds of Hare Krishna Mahamantra every day for the rest of my life. I will follow the four regulative principles which includes no intoxication, no meat eating, no fish or eggs, no um, illicit sex, no gambling, and I will avoid 
um, Vaishnava Aparad, and I will read Srila Prabhupada's books regularly. Thank you. Following the eternal principle of Parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous Acharyas, and all the Vaishnav devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees. I'm exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple, and therefore a grand disciple of His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all of the previous Acharyas in the ocean of mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. I very joyfully award you the name Nila Chalachandra Devi Dasi. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Upasana, Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Bhakti Nupasana, I saw that when initiation got nearer and nearer, you got happier and happier. <laughs> really, it's true. I saw it. Uh, I saw the, the light come on, and it's so indicative of your heart. And, you know, you've been determined, and you've been steady, and we're all really proud of you. And this is uh, giving us great joy today to see you here t taking your vows. Hare Krishna. Yes, Surya Kun Prabhu, Sukeshri. Hare Krishna Maharaj, Hare Krishna Guru Ma. Looks like I'm the only husband speaking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm extremely excited. Uh, I personally have been waiting for this moment for a while. Uh, I remember it's been many years when we took shelter. And uh, she was the one, she told me, okay, you go ahead, serve Guru Maharaj. And she uh, took care of, she said that she'll take care of Survi. And she said that when she, Survi is in college, I'm going to take initiation. I think that time maybe uh, Krishna just said Tathastu. It just, it's been a few days, Survi is in college, and uh, here she's taking her initiations. Haribo! <laughs> As you said, she is very determined, and I'm sure she is going to make great progress and also help me progress along the way in Krishna consciousness. And Surbi is, uh, you know, really missing the occasion. She was traveling for her flight, just landed. So she sent me a text, say that, okay, if you could read it on my behalf. Is that That's okay? That's nice. Okay. Please. Okay. So it's from Surbi. <laughs> okay. Uh, Hare Krishna, please accept my humble obeisances. First of all, I want to say how proud I am uh, of my mom for taking this step in, in her spiritual journey. She has constantly and tirelessly devoted her time as a mother and as a professional. She has put so much of her time and energy into so many wheelhouses, but now, today she is finally taking some time to do something crucial for herself, taking this initiation. I wish with all my heart that I could be there with her and all the other initiates to celebrate this mono 
monumentous occasion. My mom has shaped me into who I am today, watching her work ethic, her honesty, her loyalty, and her humor throughout, albeit, I don't know what that means, she does love to laugh at me for all the silly things I do, has taught me so many life lessons as I move forward in my life with my professional, academic, and spiritual journey. I will always carry the advice and wisdom she has bestowed on me. My mom is my best friend. You always want to be there for your best friend to celebrate their key moments and be there for those special memories. And while I am so saddened that I cannot be there in person, I am so truly and genuinely overjoyed that she takes this step in her spiritual journey. I want to thank Guru Maharaj and Guru Ma for being a strong guidance force in my mom's and other devotees' spiritual journeys and for their endless encouragement and love. I am so happy for all the initiates today, but most importantly, I am inspired. Congratulations, Mom and all the initiates. Hare Krishna. We thank your daughter, who could be the next senator of California. <laughs> we're, th we're predicting something like that. And Sukeshri, please. I just, uh, I just want to correct. Anupam Prabhu spoke on behalf of Mani Mandri, so you weren't the only husband. <laughs> so you two are kindred souls. Okay, go ahead. It's actually, um, I'm very happy talking for, uh, on behalf of our Upasana. I've known her for more than a decade. We work together. And um, I know she's a very genuine, straightforward person. doesn't matter if it's outside, inside. Everything what she says is really what is inside. Her service, I think, when she started coming to temple, Suri was very little, and, you know, kids would always play together. She'd come home for Bhakti Vriksha, which she was Pandit Prabhu would con conduct. Once she started coming to temple, um, she would always go into the kitchen and clean dishes. She didn't know many people, but then she started with that just cleaning, cleaning, cleaning over and over again. And then I, and then she started getting, you know, you know she got to know about the kitchen um, seva as well. And Bhakti Vriksha was just telling me that how much she's so attached to, you know, doing her cooking services. And um, just not that. Um, we would not have a Sunday school um, special ed class if it was not for her. So since being a speech pathologist, it's, 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 she's given herself a lot to the kids who really need it. And I'm so happy for her that she's, she's doing it today. <laughs> Thank you. Bhakti Nupasana, please tell us your vows. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, Hare mm -hmm. Krishna Guru Ma. Please accept my humble obeisances. Um, um, <laughs> I vow to um, chant, attentively chant six, minimum 16 rounds of uh, Mahamantra every day. And um, I vow to uh, follow four regulatory principles, uh, which includes no intoxication, uh, no illicit sex, uh, no meat eating, including fish and eggs, and no uh, gambling. And um, I promise to um, <laughs> um, follow this habit of reading, uh, systematically reading all Sri Prabhupada's books, and uh, will not commit um, any Vaishnava Aparad, like, you know, um, uh, criticize any devotees. Following the eternal principle of parampara, taking Srila Prabhupada's and Lord Chaitanya's order to expand the Sankirtan movement as my life and soul, and depending on their mercy, the mercy of the previous Acharyas and all the Vaishnava devotees of the Lord who are like desire trees. I am exceedingly pleased to accept you as my disciple and therefore a grand disciple of his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, and a member of the Brahma Madhva Gaudiya Sampradaya. May all the previous Acharyas and the ocean of mercy, Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, shower you with their grace. I very joyfully award you the name Uttara Devi Dasi.
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Srivast Pandit Prabhu, please. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Sanat Kumaro Vatukama Devat, Devar Shivarya Tirthilanath, Devar Shivarya Purusharchanathanath, Harir Kurmo, Harir Maam Nerayat Asheshataha. So, um, we are going to light the fire and then I'm going to offer five articles. And in the meanwhile, you can do the Kirtan. And then when I start the Swasti Vachana, you can stop. Thank you. You can start. Start the kitchen. Yeah.
we completed the Vishnu Sukhuti and the Swasti Vachana offering the invocation. The next step is the Mangala Charan prayers where um, we uh, offer the grains which are in front of you. Uh, when I say Swaha, you can just go ahead and offer it. So this is um, something that I request the devotees to meditate upon because this is where we are getting connected to the Guru Parampara and we are going to, um, you know, feelingly call out for our predecessor Acharyas, including our spiritual master for the strength. Okay. <clears throat> okay, thank you. So, if you are really in the back, instead of creating a beautiful shower of grains, we can also put it right next to the bow uh, that is there next to you. They have one of these, right? That is... They have bowls. So you yeah, can put it in the plate right next to you. So here it is. And then it will all get offered into the fire at the end. Good. Okay. Yes, please. And you can put it in the plate. So kindly repeat after me. Om Ajnana Timirandasya Jnana Anjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasmai Shri Guruve Namaha Swaha 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 Shri Chaitanya Mano Bhishtam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamahyam Dadati Swapadantikam Swaha 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 Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yutapadakamalam Shri Gurun Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Sagrajatam Sahaganaragunatan Vitam Vam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Sri Radha Krishna Padan Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitamscha Swaha 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 Namaom Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Vaisheshikadasa Adhikari Iti Namine Namas Namaha Praharsha Shilaya Prabhupadanu Sarine Anindite Hrideta Smai Shastra Bhajana Chodine Swaha 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 Namaom Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashthaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Viti Namine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschatya Deshe Tarine Swaha 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 Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Nitinamine 
श्री वर्ष बाना भी देवी दयिताय कृपाब्द ये कृष्ण संबंध विज्ञाना दायिने प्रभवे नमः माधुर्योज्वल प्रेमाद्या श्रीरूपानुग भक्तिदा श्री गौरा करुण शक्ति विग्रहाया नमोस्तुते नमस्ते गौरवाणी श्री मूर्तये दीनतारिने रूपानुगा विरुद्धापा अपसिद्धांत द्वांतहारिने स्वाहा 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 नमो गौरकिशोराया साक्षात वैराग्य मूर्तये विप्रलंबा महाम्बो इसो विप्रलंबा रसाम्बो दे पादाम्बुजायते नमः स्वाहा 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 नमो भक्ति विनोदाया सच्चिदानंद नामिने गौरशक्ति स्वरूपाया रूपानुगावरायते स्वाहा 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 गौराविर्भाव भूमेश्वरम् निर्देश्ट सज्जनप्रिया वैष्णवसार्वभावमश्री जगन्नाथायते नमः Swaha, 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 Vancha Kalpa, Tarubhyascha, Kripa Sindhubhya Evacha, Patitanam Pavanebhyo, Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha, Swaha, 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 Namo Mahavadanyaya, Krishna Prema Pradayate, Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya, Namne Gaurat Vishe Namaha, Swaha, 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 Panchatatvatmakam Krishnam Bhaktarupasvarupakam Bhaktavataram Bhaktakhyam Namami Bhakti Shaktikam Swaha 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 He Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dīna-bandho, Jagatpate, Gopesha, Gopika-kānta, Shri Radha-kānta, Namostute, Swaha, 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 Jayatam Suratau, Pangor, Mamamandama Tergati, Matsarvasva Padam Bhojau Shri Shri Radha Madana Mohanau Swaha 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 Divyad Vrindaranya Kalpadrumadaha Shri Madratnagara Simhasanastau Shri Madradha, Shri Lagovinda Devau, Preshtali Bihi, Sevyamana Usmarami, 
स्वाहा 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 श्रीमान रासरसारंभी वंशी वटतटस्थित कर्षण वेणुर्स्वनेर्गोपीर् गोपीनाथ श्रीस्तु नह स्वाहा 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 तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमामी हरि प्रिय स्वाहा 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 जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्रीवासदि गौर भक्त वृंदा स्वाहा 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 हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे रामा राम राम हरे हरे स्वाहा 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 हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे रामा राम राम हरे हरे स्वाहा 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 हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे रामा राम राम हरे हरे स्वाहा 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 दिस कंक्लूड्स द मंगलाचरण प्रेयर और द मंगलाचरण पोर्शन ऑफ द सैक्रिफाइस and the next step is that we ask the lord for forgiveness for any offenses that we might have created as part of our yagna um we might not have this so you know be comfortable to chant after me mantra heenam kriya heenam bhakti heenam janardana yat poojitam मया देवा परिपूर्ण तदस्तु मे स्वाहा 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 अपराधा सहस्राणी क्रियन्ते अहर्निशम मया दासोहम इति मामत्वा क्षमस्वा मधुसूदना स्वाहा 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 प्रतिज्ञातव गोविंदा नमे भक्ता प्रणश्यति इति संस्मृत्य संस्मृत्य प्राणायामी धार्यहाम्यहम् स्वाहा 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 सो दिस कंक्लूड्स द प्रायश्चित होमा द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इस कॉल्ड पूर्ण हाथी एंड यू कैन टेक द बनानास दैट आर इन द प्लेट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड देन यू कैन स्टैंड अप एंड देन वी कैन अटर द लास्ट प्रेयर Yes. 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 Yes.
Yes. And you can also offer you the grains that you left. And maybe you can just put it around the fire. Yes, please. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Kindly repeat after me. Is everybody there? Close the fire. All right. Yes. Yeah, please. Ashray Madhav, come on. Scoot. Namo Brahmanya Devaya Go Brahmana Hitaicha Jagatitaya Krishnaya Go Vindaya Namo Namaha Swaha Now you may all place the grains and the banana in the fire and then yeah and then after that Vaishishi Prabhu will lead around the Pradakshina seven times around the sacrificial fire and it should be it should be done Pro, just put it on the side please yeah <laughs> yes all right yeah. yeah yes please yes please put yes please thank you we'll get a bigger fire pit next time please. Hari No traffic jams Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Go Premanand and Hari Bo. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, 
Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Raja 
ಶರಣಂ ಪ್ರಭಜೆ Many of you traveling from all over the world to come here today. Some joining us online and traveling by car and airplane to come together, together this weekend. These events have a long, uh, an eternal effect They're going into the, into the ears, into the heart, seeing the devotees together, exchanging gifts, exchanging prasadam, Revealing their hearts in confidence among one another is the essence of Krishna consciousness. And 
So what we've all done here this weekend has been, as someone said earlier, mon monumental. I like that phrase. The damage is done, it can't be reversed. <laughs> and our deepest gratitude for all those who helped to put the festival together. And for Haribo! <laughs> And now we can take whatever spirit we picked up here and extend it to others because the material world is dark and cold and people are really suffering greatly. We have a movement, which means we have to move. And if we take some part in it and move beyond our comfort zone and try to do something to please Srila Prabhupada and Lord Chaitanya, then we can attain a destination beyond what anyone could imagine just by that simple act of devotion. So we pray today, dear Srila Prabhupada, dear Sri Panchatattva, Sriman Mahaprabhu, Sri Sri Radha Madan Mohan, Sri Sri Lakshmi Nishingadev. If you so desire, please empower everyone here to take the holy names, Srila Prabhupada's books, Prasadam, and the goodwill extended from Krishna through the Prampara to all living entities that we meet wherever we go around the world so that everyone can dance in kirtan and go back home back to Godhead. Om Tat Sat. Everyone who agrees with this prayer in part or in whole, please say Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna! Shari Radvija Jodendriya tahe ka Jive pele Vishaya shagare Karma de divayati Loba moi sudurmati Take jeta Katita shangshare Krishna Bodo Doya Moy Kori Bari Chihwa Jai Shaprashad Anadi Lobai Shayanamrita Pao Radha Krishna Guna Gao Preme Dako Shri Chaitanya Nihita Preme Dako
Pancha Kalpadru Vasha, Kripa Sindhavasha, Patitanam Pavani Vyo, Vaishnavi Vyo, Namo Namaha, Nantakodi Vaishnavi Nikijai. Thank you, everyone.